Ah, oh, someone's knocked my camera. Oh, dude. Hey, Richard. Quavo. Hey, Rob Brown. And Def Pond. All right. Too hot to deal with daddle and yibble yabber and chitter chatter. So let's get down to it and get the work done so that I don't turn into a molten mess of nothing around here. Uh, where's my dodgy little weeha driver? There you go. Oh, no screws in that one? That's excellent. Yeah, this is just a standard screen repair plus a home button replacement. I don't know why they said home button replacement actually, because, yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, they've decided they're going to go, they're going to go black because I do not have any white in stock because my delivery still hasn't arrived, so what am I doing? I'm holding the wrong thing. And then once this is done, I can finally see if the CD3215s are going to fix a board that I've been waiting on. Holy damn. Yep, someone smashed the living daylights out of that. Nothing to do with me this time. Wasn't me. Hey Travis, Adrian. Yeah, it's flippin' hot. That's how it is, mate. Flippin' hot. So hot, I can't even say the H. Yep, the um, fume extractor provides a small amount of airflow around the workshop, so as long as you're sweating sufficiently profusely, it does have a slight swamp cooler effect. Man, uh, how do they mash this one, this one up so much? I seem to be getting a resurgence of sixes lately. Suits me. They're easy to work on. Cheap too. We've got missing screws. Looks like the previous screen repair was a cheap and dodgy brothers. Yeah, there's a bit of a bend in the chassis. Screw just came out. Two screws have come out. Let's see. Neither of them match what I would expect. Okay, you. Tough choice. Hmm, one of them is for this. I just can't work out whether it's the short or the long. I think it would be the shorter one. Yeah. There, yeah, Travis, I've been waiting too. I mean, I paid 70 US bucks in shipping to get it here sooner. Okay. Oh man, all these ones have got... Oh. What did they do? Throw this in a dumpster or something? What a... Cluster... And was that your screw? No, you just a piece of glass. Super short screw there. Honestly, the screws are all mixed up and I don't know whether it's just because it... Everything went jumping around or whether because the person before me didn't use the right screws in the right place. 50-50. Oh, there's another screw. Okay, you... Ah, oh, right, yep. The home button is dead. And that wasn't because I did it. Not this time. You almost put shorts on today, Death Pump. Oh, okay. Normally I put shorts on every day, even in winter pretty much. I used to love my jeans and my suits and things like that, but this weather here just makes it impossible to... just impossible. I mean, unless you want to die. At least, yeah, you die looking good. You might be a bit sweaty, but you'd be looking good. Pet bar? Pry bar. <laughs> I was going to say. Alright. 
Now the trouble with not wearing gloves is of course I have the risk of transferring fingerprints. Um, now I'm not keen on transferring fingerprints onto people's machines but I usually do a reasonably decent job of not doing that. Usually. Ah oh, man, they've lost their sensor guide and I don't have any of those at the moment. Maybe we should do a home button repair. I'm sure that'd be an excellent use of my time. All right. You working on 666? Yep, I'm in hell working on it. I've tried the finger finger cots and uh, they don't really do anything much for me. I think the real thing is just to use an air conditioner. But at the moment there's about a two week wait on getting split systems installed. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see whether I live that long. Eeny meeny miny mo. Pick a screw and hope it doesn't punch through to the other side and tear off the paint. I'm getting a five and a half kilowatt split system installed, so that'll be nice. That's downstairs though. But when I say downstairs, I mean the other side of the house. Um, and then I'll decide. I'll probably, yeah, it's a tough call between getting yet another split system installed and then I can utilize the existing two kilowatt uh, box air conditioner that's up there, bring it down here, or whether I just need to buy a completely separate, I will need about a two kilowatt for this room. This room is around about four and a half by three and a half meters. The big issue, of course, is the extreme temperature that we've got to deal with. Now, normally if I just handle everything by the edge, I tend not to get the fingerprints on it. And then I give it a bit of a wipe down afterwards as well. Yeah, it's certainly no fun at the moment. I did manage to get some work done this morning out in the yard, that was nice. I did up some more uh, work on the cat playstation. Come on. Cat playstation, oh man, you got liquid damage on that. What do you people do to these phones? doesn't look like it's gone too far so I'll just um, wash that out for Q-tip once I find my... Oh, there they are. Hey Russ, yes, uh, you being in Florida would tend to have comparatively similar sort of weather events as what we get here including hurricanes slash cyclones Yeah, right. that that looks like it's going to be okay. And of course, we get the broody, humid weather. Will glass shards scratch a new glass screen? Yes, they will. And if you don't see them, they'll often uh, crack the new glass. That's why I do all the work on these soft pads and of course why you need to have your protective plastic film over the top of the glass. You've got to make sure you tell people though to take it off because otherwise what will happen is they think it's a screen protector. I mean it technically is but not in the way they think. 
because I mean it is protecting it and they look at all the bobbles and everything and they're like oh thanks and you're like it's not a proper screen protector for you just peel it off it's just for when I'm working on it oh okay I have had people who will leave it on there cut out the earpiece at least <laughs> and it's pretty amusing and then of course every now and then you do get the one that uh, doesn't take the film off goes to use it and then comes back in a bit of a rage and says since you fixed the screen the earpiece doesn't work anymore properly and it's like yeah so you didn't take the film off so anyway it doesn't matter how many times you try to tell people sometimes some people just will not hear it Yeah, it's my... I only wear cotton... Um, cotton t-shirts. Anyone dare try to put polyester on me right now, I would just die. It's, I don't know how people can wear polyester or blends or anything like that. Unless it's cotton or extremely um, well-worn linen. I don't want to know about it. I'm actually wearing linen pants. Um, and it's funny, I couldn't get these pants anywhere in the region. And you would think that these are the sort of pants that this sort of region would absolutely, definitely keep in stock because they're perfect for it. Hey, Wade. And to make it even more amusing, the place I finally did find that I could get them from was in the UK. So I ordered them from the UK. They arrived in like four days and cost me less than pretty much standard heavyweight cargo pants around here. So I thought that was very interesting that no one seems to take notice of what is actually required in these regions to keep cool. Oh, wool is terrible in this time of the year, yeah. I think some people wear it for patriotic reasons and it's like, don't even think about it. I know they say, oh, but wool keeps you cool. And it's like, yeah, well, that's relative compared to sort of like another fat, pure polyester, double line, crazy suit then sure, yeah, wool's going to be cooler than that. But it's hard to beat cotton. Richard, you're correct, it won't do um, touch ID. But fortunately, I have already notified the customer of this limitation, and hopefully they understood what I was saying. If they don't understand what I was saying, then they will very shortly. Okay, what is wrong with this screw? So this screw does not even belong in this phone as far as I can tell. That... What the hell? Come on. Sorry, I think I was being slightly over, slightly over dramatic. <coughs> Sorry. That screw does not fit. Does anything fit in this? Oh, for goodness sake. I really hope my screwdrivers turn up today. You don't fit? What? Okay, you do. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to have to get my box of um, iPhone 6 screen parts. iPhone 6 display. And naturally, naturally, pretty much nothing's in there. Oh, wait. On one side it says 6 display, and the other side it says 6S body. Make up your mind. Okay. Clearly, that was a misprint.
Well, oh, hello, Mr. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Because that's all Australia knows Kentucky for. Well, Kentucky Fried Chicken and racism, slavery, things like that, yep. Yeah, I see Tim um, got all the fame last day or two with Lewis. Tim's going to be rocking it up with the wads of cash, hot women and lines of drugs. Ah, let's see. Let me have a look and see what... No clothing is required in Australia. I wish that was the case. Although there's a few bits I'd like protected. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, Chris is saying nothing interesting at the moment. Nothing interesting. Boring. Hey, Richter. Hey, Joshua. Kentucky whiskey? No, I, I don't acknowledge that. <sighs> no, interesting, Andrew, that uh, KFC in the US is so bad. The occasional lizard, Chris, don't you mean like everywhere along with the snakes? And don't forget the dingoes. Got to remember the dingoes. Good old baby eating dingoes. Now whether that's legit or myth, I'm pretty sure it's legit. I mean, what dingo could resist a baby? Crazy to think that came out of the 1980s. Lindy Chamberlain it was almost as popular a news title as Princess Diana. So you pretty much the news cycle would be something about Lindy Chamberlain, and when that gets worn out, it's back to Princess Diana. Uh, we're, a, we're a bit of a simple country. Simple needs. I will say this, that uh, certainly I do massively prefer KFC in Australia from, say, South African KFC. South African KFC disgusted me. It was just wrong. It was lemony and all sorts of things. Uh, obviously, it's catered to the domestic taste there, but it was just wrong. Um, I mean, I love South African food in general. I mean... Don't worry, I love uh, Piri Piri is one of the great inventions out of that country, which is funny because that's actually Portuguese, but uh, we'll ignore that for now. And all the other things like Biltong, Poikis, Drive Horse, Cider, or whatever, they didn't invent that, but anyway. Point is, there's a lot of stuff I do like out of that country, but KFC was just awful. There we go. <coughs> Another inappropriately converted phone that's supposed to be white, but we didn't have white in stock, so black it is. I do give the person the option. I said, look, my stock should be arriving sometime later this afternoon, so if you want to wait, we can sort it out then. And they're like, no, just get it done. Yeah, Rick Tech, um Nando's is Portuguese, as in the... Um, the Piri Piri combination is a very strong Portuguese influence. Okay, it's got a charge, it's working, whatever. We've got to see if the home button works on that later, but anyway, I digress. Ah, oh, Andrew, you have uh, Nando's in a jar, awesome. It's very good stuff. What I love about Nando's is the fact that it's hot, but it's got flavour. 
as opposed to most sauces that you get, which are supposedly hot sauces, and they are hot, but they're just completely flavorless, and you just sit there and you feel like you've got, you know, someone's poured gasoline into your mouth and set it on fire, but there's no reward in terms of the flavor. But piri piri, proper piri piri, it's very nice. Ah, weird, it smells like bubble gum in there. Alrighty, finally we are back to this board. Hey Richard, are you harassing Chris? I don't know if that's permittable on this channel. Shane, I would gladly send you some heat down south. That's what we need, some way of transferring heat around the world. I suppose we already do in many ways. You know, when we you know, move gas or move trees, or yeah, just pretty much anything that's got energy stored in it. Alrighty, now, let's see. So this is the one, for those that don't remember anything like me, that we were getting a short circuit, or well, pretty damn close to a short on this pin here, I'm thinking it was. It's not there when the chip isn't down, but as soon as we put the chip down, the previous one, it would immediately short. But the funny thing was that when we take the chip off and measure the chip, it doesn't itself have a short in those uh, between those pins. So best I can imagine is there's some sort of gate activation going on and anyway. So we ordered some more chips and I paid quite a lot in freight to get them here. So I damn well hope it's gonna fix the fault because Otherwise, I'm going to end up with a whole bunch of these CD3215s, which are certainly going to be useful. But that's um, a bit of an upfront investment that maybe I didn't have to make today. Well, two weeks ago. Shift that, get a little closer to the fume hood. But it does happen at times. Um, the internal protection circuitry can sometimes misbehave. And so when other parts of the circuit become ac yeah, disconnected, oh, that looks completely not flipping new and genuine. Looks like I've been given some shonkies. Shonky parts direct from Rossman Repair Group. Maybe these ones were reballed lovingly by Paul S. Yeah, new for me, yeah. We guarantee these parts are new to you. They've never been on your bench before. so hot my flux is getting all weird Ninety-nine percent sure that's the right way. I suppose I should verify on a board view, but I'm pretty sure that's where the pins are line, lined up. What do we go? Two eighty-one. All in. Let's see. Dun dun dun. There we go. Yep. So that's it there. Pin one. Down and left, and we're down and left, so we're good. So let's roll.
and hopefully we don't botch this up. But at least I know I can reball these without any trouble. Now I'm wondering whether I should leave a product review on Lewis's page. Oh, for God's sake, really? It should be like, chip did not immediately solder itself properly to the board. What is going on there? Too much. It's one of those days, eh? I can't back out any further. The best I can imagine is they coated the balls of Teflon. Jabari, now there's very little flux there compared, I mean you look at how much flux Lewis puts down, which in my opinion is too much, but yeah that's that's just Lewis, everything's in excess um, I'm more leaning towards the Jason Vilma side where it's using toothpicks to put down the flux that's more kind of my approach I'll be curious to see if we've got that short still. I can't quite remember what pinage it was, but uh, let's bring up the multimeter. Hey, Jeff. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that was the one that was short before, and that's... Okay, that's good. Yeah, we don't have a short there anymore. Not like we did before. So there's hope. <sighs> oh crap, I just... The nightstand struck again. And it looks like their home button is not working. Which means there's something else at play here. I'll have to pop that screen out and check the home button again. It could just be a dud one too, or it could be that metal back plate with the corrosion causing issues. Yeah, sometimes you're right, the rick ticket will um, get under the chip and float it off. Alright, so let's see how we go now, shall we? Let's see if we get our 20 volts. If we do, we can get back to... Oh, bugger. Put this on... Oh, give me my 20 volts, please. Yep, we've got 20 volts. Hey, my phone just agreed. <laughs> so, show... Oh, this is the person asking about that phone. Not yet. Something... 
faulty with more than just the home button. Trying to find the fault. We'll let you know ASAP. A little bit of truth bending there. Anyway, this is booting. We're great. That's fixed. Hallelujah. So that's what it was. CD3215, shorted on that. There was a bunch of other corrosion around the different areas, but that was the primary fault. I'm very happy. So very happy. And it means I've pretty much covered all my expense. Well, I have covered all my expense for getting this package sent so damn quick. Okay, person just selling me. That's fine. Now I need to put these somewhere in a safe place. That's a safe place from being the usual safe place where you lose stuff that's in the safe place. So I'll find a safe place. Yeah. Is there such a place? I don't think there is. Safe place is probably one of those mystical things. Well, I'll keep them in the package at least. I don't have any other packages like that. Hey, Kim Str ah, Kitty Strauff, sorry. Good to see you. All right, let's see what's going on with this phone then. Because ideally, you know, it should respond to the home button and it is not, which is bad. So bad. I suppose I should turn it off though before I open it up. Not the sort of thing Chris Long would do. He'd just, he'd just leave it battery connected and work on it. Actually I saw that Jason's latest video. By the way, if you are not subscribed to Chris Long or Jason Volmer, then I do strongly recommend you do. Jason Volmer's just put out a video, I think yesterday, called Sloppy Seconds the pleasure of short screw long screw damage um, it's a bit of a laugh but then that is Jason's style these days he's sort of really coming to his own in that respect and he does an entire long screw damage repair and at the end realizes that he's left the battery connected the whole time it's quite a surprise How do you not drip sweat all over the MacBooks if it's 39? Uh, at the moment, yeah, I am sort of, it's just skin perspiration. If I put gloves on, that's when I'll actually start dripping, which is why I haven't put gloves on. Because at least at the moment, the humidity is not so high that it won't evaporate off. Give it another few weeks. Once the storm clouds start rolling in, <coughs> then that will be the trick. But hopefully by then I will have the air conditioner, which will counter any sort of humidity. But yeah, if I put gloves on, within about five minutes I will certainly have drops of sweat coming out and landing on the phone. That happened to me the other day in a previous video. Hey TCRS, uh, it's the great and famous TCRS. Hello Sonia, just see all you creep in there on the side. Now the question I've got in my mind is, is this a back, uh, home button issue or is this a backplate issue? I'm going to go with possibly a backplate issue. Because we did see that there was some corrosion on that connector. Uh, backplate issue really sucks a lot because it means I've got to undo quite a lot of things. So TCRS, how goes the newfound extra fame? Because you already were famous, but now you've got newfound extra fame. The grilling from Lewis. I'm surprised yeah, he didn't give you any curveball questions or things that would try and uh, insult you or undermine you, things like that. He didn't call any of your work by names. Hey, Jane Zimmy. Go 
gonna, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to try to slip this back plate out from underneath. I'll get myself a replacement one. Hopefully I do have one. Uh, iPhone 6 back plates aren't something I really keep a lot of anymore. I'm just looking around the room. Is that an iPhone 6 box up there? I think six. So Chris, are you back down to one store or are you um still running the two? No back plate. Bugger. Man, how do I not have a back plate? I'll probably strip the back plates off all of these. Except this one. Awesome. Two for now, we're closing the other one at the end of the month. Okay. Just too much management work. So I imagine it'd be pretty busy, but I imagine also that just trying the overheads of management, trying to look after two is quite uh, difficult without handing the management over to someone else, which probably causes you more dramas than it's worth. Holy dooly, quadrupled. Okay, yep, you're on a winner there. Kind of surprised scumbag Rossman hasn't turned up yet. He usually drops in to try and steal my crowd. Right. Okay, looks like this is an original too. I suppose the smart thing to do in this instance is to actually test it before I really get too serious. I mean, it could still be a dot home button. Wouldn't surprise me. Too much. Just a little. My crowd isn't after rental property. Well, that's true. My crowd is more like basement dwellings, shed shops, things like that. That's what I'm like. I do often think that one of the limit biggest limiting factors in my career growth, or lack of career growth really, is that I find it difficult to um, delegate off to other people. And sometimes you're just stuck in that well between the you, you have more work than what you can probably handle but you don't have enough to handle an extra person but I suppose you need to take that leap at some point because having the extra person will allow you to then at least handle the extra work when it does arrive as it is I'm not really geared up for it here anyway I mean there's no way I can bring someone into this property not without not letting them go again it's a bit like Hall Hotel California, except you can't leave. Ever. Oh, here we go. And Mr. Rossman did turn up. Lewis, because it's a bit of a predicament here. Anyway, I've got the air conditioning I'm getting, 5.5 kilowatt. That's probably a week and a half away. 
and that is about two thousand dollars so that's going to leave me a little bit broke and uh, if I get a box one for here that's another six hundred dollars and I've still got to line the roof at the back that's going to be two thousand dollars and then I've got a new fence to do and that's going to be another fifteen hundred dollars so yeah it's yeah money's a little bit tricky by the way Lewis the CD3215 did the trick the trick all up and working that was on a two zero double oh two eight one yep two eight one board funnily enough the blown CD3215 was on the opposite side of the board the like, um, long opposite side of the board to where the corrosion damage was I mean there was a little bit of corrosion damage around it but not that much the main damage is on the other half of the board I guess it just goes to show you can't make too many assumptions oh by the way Lewis what the hell man um, you know, for months you've been saying you're going to do interview questions with me and then I go see you've eloped off with Tim good old Tim Tam asking him all the questions how do you think that makes me feel you've hurt me man you've hurt me and you think those extra couple of CD3215s in the package make up for it well they do so you're forgiven now No Paul Daniels on page one, no... Uh, Lewis, that's... yeah, I'll have to check that. Remember also, most of our search engines have been culled a bit because of... Um, what do you call it? The advertising thing. But that's equal to everybody. I'll have to check that out, Lewis, because as far as I was getting search hits here in Australia, I was getting hits, but I'll have to double check that. Okay, let's see if this even works. Hey, Jared. Yeah, it really does make you appreciate air conditioning. I used to have one in the window just here. It was horrible, it was noisy, but it did give some semblance of being cool. Stolen baby dingo MacBook repair. That will uh, do it. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, that works. So it was a bad backplate. So oh, that's all good now. Alrighty. Maybe I should charge him another $20 for that back plate. Uh, let's try plug a USB-C into there. That's not going to work. No MacBook for you. Yes. If there was a personality that I feel like I can um, associate with out of mass media like that it is definitely the soup kitchen nazi soup nazi i feel very much like that most days so no repair for you but the trouble is i don't seem to actually enact it which is a problem all right okay so we're at the end of the day's job which is good for now but um let's see i should really do something about with flex board view now again obviously a lot of people have seen jason vulmer using Flexboard View iPhone boards and they're not yet available. He's doing testing for me, so is um, some other people. Uh, other people can stick their hand up if they want to be identified. But I'm getting a lot of people asking me, you know, like, aren't they available? And they almost are. There's still more work to be done. I'm doing a lot of work on the iPhone 4, 5, 4S and I know people sort of go, what's the point? No one uses those. But people do use them often enough and also a lot of the data in those data sets is quite wrong at the moment most of the connectors are botched up one way or another so we're working on that the flexboard view program that's going to come out next the next release will support the format that uh, the board views are in i will not be supplying the board views you will just have to use your google foo to be able to get them so um Unless someone out there has a legally safe and separate 
um, Git server or something like that, I'm not supplying them anywhere. Let's see what's going on here. If you push the USB-C hard enough, it will fit in the lightning jack. I will try that again. Huh. Hey Prater, sorry uh, you're missing the end of it now. Assuming your pricing is the same as mine for the promotional page I am creating for you. Lewis, what are you doing? Ah, you're like all the fans, aren't you? You know, you go along and you do something and then you're like, look, I made this for you. And then you're going to expect me to be nice to you or something or give you money. And so like, don't do that. Oh, Jason Bourne even uses Flex B View to fix his problems. Is, uh, when was that in the Bourne identity? Slow, but ah, oh, Rodrigo, you can't can't go dropping old competitor data programs on me in this chat. Come on. Anyway, phone board. I will tell you now. A lot of the data is broken. Just letting you know. This is, uh, don't expect you to be nice or for your software to be any less shite. Yeah, I see what you did there. You used a vowel. That's well, why would you do that? You're an American. You don't know how to do it. Stop it. You guys are like the toddlers of the world with a great big nuclear weapon, so, you know, eh. I'm becoming more Australian writing this page. <laughs> well, I appreciate that you've been working on your vowels, and, you know, there's, you've got to have things like you in neighbour and honour. So, you know, it's, without you, the, it's just not, it's pointless. Armour, yeah, there's... Uh, yeah. Need to make Lewis a bogan. Uh, that would be... I don't think you have to try too hard to make Lewis a bogan. Give him some... Uh, give him a wife beater. Singlet. By the way, it's a terrible sexist term, but... Uh, if anyone who doesn't know what a wife beater is, it's... Uh, in Australia, there's these singlets, and they're usually blue in colour. And we call them wife beaters because there was a strong... Uh, correlation between people wearing those shirts and beating of their wives. With phone support and flexible view, maybe some of my locals will get up the courage to go inside more than for more than battery swap outs. Oh wow, yeah, I thought they'd be doing more than that already. The only trouble with the flexible views is that they're uh, obviously we don't have the very latest because what I want to be able to do, it's looking forward to doing, is creating a group of people, paying them obviously to sit down and create the board views for the latest phones. You know, we obviously buy the phone, you strip it down, you scan it, you slice it, you do all that sort of stuff and you create the board view. It's a lot of hard work. Um, but I think someone's got to start doing it because at the moment we are being held to ransom by, I don't want to say a foreign country, but like the phones are designed in, say, the US, but we're being held to ransom to be able to repair them by the people that are doing the factories for them, you know, over in China or wherever they're partially made. So it feels like we need to now be able to get our own board views, create our own board views that are available as files that can be downloaded so that everybody can get access to it. Andre, our uh, wife beaters are plain white. Ew, that's even more disgusting, you know. White, white wife beaters, singlets, are just hideous looking things because, you know, they've always got stains all over them and all that. It's like, ugh, very, very degenerate sort of thing you expect down in the south in Louisiana or something like that. Can I test board view for iPhone? Not right now. I do have my testers all at the moment and I have a very restrictive group at the moment for specific reasons. So, but it'll be um, out soon enough. Excessive flux. Lewis always has excessive flux. That's because he makes his own. And he likes to show off. He's like, look at my flux. I'm creating my own schematic for the ECU of my 30 year old car. No one has them. It's going to be the first of any sort of schematic for the car I have. Um, Jared, that's great. You're doing that. Is, um, is there also a PCB for that? Because if, for any of you that want to actually have your board views shared or things like that uh, or create board views for your own products if you do them in KiCad, Eagle um, or most of the other programs you can export now to formats that FlexBoard View will actually show so there's GenCAD, IPC 365D, um, Hyperlinks, Fabricator or F Fabmaster I always forget whether it's Fabricator or Fabmaster either way 
Um, I do have limited ODB++ support, but I don't really recommend it. I think it's one of those formats that are just too massive. It's kind of like Microsoft um, OpenOffice XML as opposed to the, uh, or was it Microsoft Office Open XML? I mean, that was just a bollocks format. It was never intended to be general production. So, what is your repo? What? I don't know what Lewis is doing. Lewis has just lost his mind. All right. Okay, I am out of here because it's getting blimmin' hot in here and I want to race back to my air conditioning, get myself a nice cool tub of ice cream, stuff myself silly so I can put on some weight because I lost two and a half kilos in the last three months without even trying. That's what you get when you don't sleep and eat properly. And then I'll probably have some nice hot coffee just to bring things back up to normality again. So thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it if you'll share and like. And remember if you do uh, subscribe, make sure you get the little notification bells up on the top. Just clocked over 16,000 subscribers. So I'm on my way to doing about 1% um, of some other important people. But I appreciate everything that everyone's doing. Until then, you'll take care. I'll see you next time. Don't let dingoes get you.